So today we're going to talk about uh, how we monitor the health uh, of SSDs and we've uh, began to use a technology that's been brought over from the hard drive yep. uh, world, a technology called SMART, which stands for uh, Self-Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. Yep. And uh, through SMART, we're able to look at different key attributes of the SSD mm -hmm. Uh, in regards to overall health of, of, of the drive. Smart's been around a long time. It, it's a hard drive technology. Really, it was kind of brought about to let you know there was like an impending failure, right? You would you would get these smart warnings like, hey, you're having drive errors and things like that. You might want to replace it. Well, um, you know, we, we output to smart, but what we output to basically is kind of flashware, right? And so what customers are able to do, there, there's actually a couple of things. We, can, uh, we have a, a, an attribute called SSD life left which is kind of cool. I mean, really the best way to think of it is like a gas gauge almost, right? You know, you, you're, every time you write to an SSD, you wear it out just a little bit. You know, think of it as just using up a little bit of gas. It starts at 100 and kind of will kind of dwindle all the way down to zero. It's going to take you many years to do that, but it's a way to kind of monitor the life of the SSD and the health of the SSD. The other couple of things that are there, which is really cool, are you can look at host writes and flash writes, right? And so you can really kind of determine your own WAF. And, you know, we talked about WAF and TBW and how it's kind of, it really is dependent on your own workload, right? The WAF that I have might be different than, than the WAF that you have, right? Whether I play games, whether you're a Photoshop guy, any of that, that that's all going to make a difference. So with, with those features, you can actually take a look and see how many, how many writes the host is saying that it's doing versus how many flash writes, how many, how many writes our SSD is actually doing in that case. And so it, it'll give you a good gauge as to kind of, you know, what to expect and how long your SSD will last. Cool. So we, we actually provide a, a software tool to, to look at this. Yeah, it's our toolbox. Yeah, exactly okay. right. And, and so it's our Kingston toolbox. You can use it on all of our SSDs, uh, get it off of our website, and it's really easy to run. There's actually some nice features to that. You know, where you've got a new version, we're enabling things like secure erase and, you know, being able to do different things with the drive. But it really is just a way to kind of monitor, you know, the, the wear of that. Uh, we also have a Linux tool um, that you can do the same with. So our Linux users, you know, we're not kind of forgetting about them as well. So. It's nice. Great. So it sounds like we really have, uh, you know, kind of endurance covered and a way to, 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 to monitor that as, as a user. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would say in most times, God, it's like you wouldn't even have to worry about it for the first year or two, but we do get people that look, and I think on our enterprise customers, it really helps us help them understand their workload, right? A lot of them maybe don't realize how much data they're writing or how compressible it is. So with our enterprise drives, like the E100 and ones like that, we output, uh, we, we have some special enterprise attributes that we can, that we'll output to, and it helps them track that wear, right? You know, how much, what can they expect, right? We'll ask them to run it for a month, you know, take a look at that workload, and they'll give you an idea of whether you've got the right product or not, so. Great, yeah. sounds like great tools. Yeah, it is nice.